Hey everybody, so we are back for another episode and this time we are jumping back on the truck. So let's do a little update on what uh, what we did on the 61 this week and um, and then we'll, we'll jump on this and see where we're going to go with it. No, you're not bringing home another piece of junk. All right, so if you followed along on our last few videos, you know I, I had a week off and we just hit a bunch of stuff on this thing. I mean, I got all kinds of stuff done. I got more stuff done since the last video. So I got uh, 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 interiors pretty much in what I'm gonna do, you know, with what I'm gonna use. I got the radio in, uh, got it hooked up, got the other door panel on. Um, what else do we do? Got the brakes bled, got all the hubcaps on. A um, couple other little things we did. Now I was trying to, uh, I was running it this morning. It's it's a little hard to start and it's running really rich. It's It sounds like it's idling good and it revs good, but uh, I'm gonna have to find out what's going on. I'm trying to set the timing and uh, my timing light fell into the fan <laughs> and knocked the knob off the back. So. I may have to go get another timing light, but uh, uh, we're getting pretty close to where I can um, start doing some test drives on this thing and, uh, you know, figure out the last few bugs on it. You know, also got the the hood on and the hood latch and the Chevy letters. And, and uh, so uh, pretty happy with where it's at. So I'm I'm open in a week or two. I've got the bugs worked out and, and it's ready to drive. So... I just need to uh, need to go through my TBI troubleshooting guide and and find out what's going on. So anyway, that's where we are with that. Now I haven't touched the truck in a while because I wanted to get that wrapped up before cruising season. So we are ready to get back on this. And um, one of my last updates, you saw that uh, um, I went and bought some metal. So. Um, we're gonna continue on on the front end of this thing. And what I wanna do is, uh, first thing I wanna do is is get this, it's this bottom, uh, I don't know what you call it, uh, this cross member or what, not really a cross member. Um, this bottom thing across there. So the one that's on there, that was on there doesn't fit anymore, which we're not gonna use it anyway. Cause uh, like I said, as we moved the front end back, it spread out. That's why we had to add a little, uh, some metal to the hood. But um, I've got that uh, two by three box. We're gonna put it in there. And then if you look, like if you look down on this edge, that's pretty much straight down. That's sticking out. So we wanna get rid of that and make this flush going down. So uh, we're gonna get this piece on. We're gonna get these frame extensions built and get them on. Um, and then we are going to figure out um, what this headlight setup is good, gonna look like. And I've got some round rod, um, a couple different sizes. We're gonna kind of preform our front end, see what it's gonna look like. And I'm gonna build a grill in there. I've uh, got an idea for what I wanted to do with the grill. When all that is done, then we're gonna sheet it. So, all right, let's get some uh, pieces cut for this. And, uh, We'll see where we're gonna go. Okay, so got this piece in. And it looks like, I gotta be careful. I got something going on with my wrist. Might have to have surgery on this thing right in there. So I'm wearing a brace most of the time. Like when I sleep or when I type, but when I'm doing this, it's kind of hard to wear it, so. But I'm trying to be careful. So we are 18 there. We are 18 there. We're 20 and a quarter there. And 20 and a quarter there. So that's good and square. Now, now what we need to do is I'm gonna run some pieces out of those rails out to here. Now I don't have any that big. But I think this two by three is gonna be 
plenty stout to run out of here, welded all of this, and I'll plate it where it goes into the into the uh, rails, so it'll fit like this. Just gonna do it into the upper corner of that rail. I'll probably drill a few holes here there so we can do some spot welds in there and then um, we'll cut a plate to go around the rest of it and uh, weld that in I, I think it'll be fine so I think we're about 21 inches we need to be if I remember if I check this right Let's see if I can go in before I hit something actually this one is like 20 and a half it's going to give me five inches of this inside the rail. I think that's going to be fine. So if I do this one the same, that'll give me five inches inside that rail. So that's going to be fine. Okay. So let me cut uh, two 20 and a half inch pieces of this. And then uh, we'll drill a few holes there. We'll tack these in place. And... Uh, I'm about to go ahead and plate this and kind of finalize this because as, as I box this in, I'm not going to be able to get to it anymore. So, all right, let's get those cut and we'll uh, we'll get them in there. All right, so we've got uh, got that on there, got everything welded in. I do need to make some plates to go around there just for reinforcement, and I'll probably put if you can see like a gusset off the bottom of the plate up to the. Um, up there from the front of the plate to the bottom of that just to give it a little extra support but uh, it's burning in pretty good I don't think that's going anywhere so what I want to do now is like I said I want this to kind of come down so we need to get rid of some of this stuff and, and uh, kind of see how we're gonna I'm thinking I'm gonna make like a like a roll pan to come off of this so this may get folded in, this corner may get folded in a little bit to kind of transition smooth across there. So let me see if you can even see what I'm talking about on the camera. Oh yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll whack this off of there. And uh, let's see if it looks like what I'm thinking it's gonna look like. on pause I'm gonna need to change my grinding wheel here all right let's try this again
Okay. So here's what I want to do. And I can see those sides are a little bit different than each other. So you can see here where like the grill was inset or grill or whatever piece that was there was kind of inset there. So I want to get like this piece is kind of curving out this way. I want to get it turned to where it's flat that way or flatter just to where it kind of rolls into this. Same here because we're going to be cutting this headlight bucket, like I said, I'm going to move this hole up side by side here, but I don't want this whole thing to be squared off like that. So I'm going to cut X amount out of there and we're going to take this bottom curve and we're going to move it up here to where this is just going to have a slight curve there and it's going to come across headlight, head, headlight, headlight. And then this piece here will continue on up to the bottom of this. So a little bit of fabricating there to figure out. That's that's kind of how I want to do those. And I think that might be, yeah, that might be the next thing to do. So I need to add a couple of braces. I'm going to put a brace from here to there and here to there just to give that a little more structure. And we're going to box those in. And then once we got those on there, then we will, uh, then we'll start hacking up them headlights and that part and figuring all that out. You know, I was looking at this and I'm thinking, man, something just looks crooked on it. And I was measuring, 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 and and it's the floor. The floor on this side is higher than the floor on that side, and it kind of gives it a that way. But that's going to be covered up. So like from this this bar here to there and this bar here to there is good. So. It's just kind of giving me a a weird optical illusion when I get back and look at it, and it's like, okay, I don't I don't want the front of it to look crooked, but when we cover that up, it's going to look fine. Okay, so uh, that's going to be it for today because the World Baseball Classic Championship is coming on tonight, USA versus Japan. Um, go USA, and uh, we will pick this back up tomorrow night and uh like i said we'll make those plates for that and we'll um get some braces there and then we'll get some uh we'll start thinking about building uh, uh headlights okay we'll pick this back up tomorrow all right so we got pretty far on this last night and uh we'll we'll take a look in fact i did a little bit more after i shut the camera off um, I don't know if anybody's watching Bad Chad right now or not, but that uh, Hudson he's chopping, man, that thing is is cool. So make sure you check that out. And I uh, just want to remind everybody to uh, subscribe, to hit like on the channel. You know, I always say that at the very end of the video, but uh, I see a lot of people say it like at the beginning or closer to that. So I thought I'd stick that in there. So um, if you're somebody who's a... Uh, uh, skipping the last part of the video, you know, not uh, not into listening to the Lord's word, you know. Well, I'm I'm praying for you anyway, but that's your choice. But uh, um, regardless of which part you're checking out and enjoying, uh, so uh, I appreciate you if you'd uh, hit subscribe and hit like and and leave a comment. You know, I like I like talking to everybody out there. So let's take a look at where we are here. All right. Oh, I went ahead and welded these supports on last night and this one i got a little bit short so i actually had to weld a little, another little piece in there so uh what i need to do tonight is i need to box this in and i'm just going to kind of put a piece of plate there and a piece of plate there and i'm going to do the same over there but we're going to have to do some additional reinforcements over there later because my uh steering box is going to end up over here it's probably going to end up out here pretty far because uh, I want to I want to bring the steering column kind of straight down through somewhere in here, and then uh, I got a plan to how to connect it to that uh, um, 
to the pitman to, to the steering link down there. <clears throat> Buddy of mine that's a mechanical engineer, we kind of figured something out. So uh, hopefully it works, but we're gonna definitely have to build a gizmo to to get it mounted up right. So anyway, let's get some plate welded on those tonight. And um, I think we're gonna, <clears throat> I cut all this out of here last night. So I think we're gonna go ahead and cut like around here, up to here, and we're gonna slice this guy right across there and take the bottom headlight bucket out of this thing on both sides and then figure out how they're going to go up in there. I don't know if we'll get all that done tonight, <clears throat> but uh, we're going to give it a shot. So let me find, uh, I got all kinds of scrap around here. Let me find something we can close that up with, and then we'll take a look at that. All right. Those are kind of some ugly welds because it's hard to get back in there. But uh, I had that thing cranked all the way up on five, so it's, it's uh, they're not going anywhere. And uh, when we cover this up, you won't be able to see that anyway. So, all right, so what we're gonna do uh, next is I'm gonna start on this side. I'm gonna try to do one side at a time. And uh, tell you what, let me get situated. We'll go ahead and leave the camera on for this one. Um, we are gonna cut that section out. Uh, Got to tack it up there, do a test fit with a couple of headlight bulbs and see is it kind of where we want it to be, are the bulbs going to be straight? And then the, the biggest part of this is going to be shortening this curve because, man. So that being a double headlight bucket, you know, I just, I want this curve up here. And I want this curve to continue all the way up to it. So uh, it might be a little bit tricky, but uh, we're gonna give we're gonna give it a shot here and see what we can do with it. So let me get set up here. We'll cut that thing out of the way, and uh, I'll, I'll probably be turning the camera on and off as we do this. But uh, we'll see what we can do with it. So this is uh, this is the experiment. All right, so <clears throat> so I think we're going to go like this. Maybe a little higher than that. Let's go right through that hole. Here. All I've got to do is keep that little slot for that spring to hook into. Go there, and we're going to cut all down through there. Oh, this is scary. All right. Can't make it no worse than what it already is.
Alright. So, that's what we got. So let me go ahead and get the bulbs. And we'll put them in. And I want to see... I want to get a distance. A side to side distance. Make sure we got them square. And then we can tack this together. <clears throat> I'm going to put this together real quick and then we'll be back. All right. <clears throat> so I thought I had all the hardware for these headlights and I don't. So I've got enough to kind of mount two. So if I can get it right over here, then we can move the hardware over there. I'm going to have to make a trip to the boneyard and uh, pick some more of these little springs and plastic doohickeys up. But if we put this in here, So, I think that's pretty good. Um, I don't know if I want to go closer than that. Or if I want to, eh, I don't want to go further. But just offhand, I kind of like the looks of that. I'll find some pliers. We'll clamp this up here and get a tack on it. And, uh, yeah, this can be fun to weld in there. And I'm just doing complete arbitrary guess that I want it about here. And I'm fine with that. Okay. Now, let me get a straight edge, see where we're at here. up a little tax in there to hold that in place and we can start cutting this other part stupid headlight bulbs are full of water oh, that gets in there I guess where they're cracked it gets in there and then it doesn't look like it wants to come out Chad building something really cool and the guy from uh, Half-Ass Customs he is really building something cool with that uh, it's like a 35 part of it to Dodge part of it to DeSoto um, really neat car 
and a lot of cool fab work on that thing. So uh, make sure you check both of those out. And, uh, and there's a lot of other good ones out there. I watch a lot of different channels. Watch uh, some of the other ones. Sleeper Dude, watch his. Pretty cool, he's kind of a funny guy. Bortsky, watch his. He's a pretty funny guy. He does school work. Bellows Customs. Somebody told me to check that out. I haven't really looked at that one yet. Yeah, they do some good work. Uh, Ian Roussel, of course. He's kind of doing his YouTube channel now, building that uh, cab open truck, which is pretty slick. Try not to weld my vice grips to it. So now the scary part. That was the easy part. The scary part is we gotta whack this thing off and move this curve up to here. So um, I'm not even gonna think about it. I'm just gonna do it. We'll cut it. Let's see. Yep. Trying to think how much do I want to take the side where this joint was, and I think I do. Yeah, I do. Okay. I hope I don't regret this. I'll tell you the difference between Chad and uh, all those other guys and me is they know what they're doing <laughs> and they've done it before I am 100% uh, 
amateur and just learning. So yeah, that'll work. So what I want to do I want the same distance up here as I got down here, which uh, let's go with this distance here because we're going to be filling this in with some metal. I got to kind of figure out, I'm about to build some kind of headlight surround because you know the, the vans like these, I got that plastic grill and I don't want that. So let's see what we're going to do here. Tape. Water dripping out of the headlight. So that's an inch and a quarter. Cut some more of this off. So let's go. I got plenty here to work with. Let's go. Uh, let's go here. Why not? back against there yeah I think that's gonna work we're getting rid of this marker light over here so that's gonna help get rid of some of that oh wait a minute now this is connected to this so I don't want to cut that I want to cut this I'm gonna have to cut a little bit of that I want to get Cardinal baseball is right around the corner. So we're probably I want that curve right at the bottom of that, like that. So I need to go, I am gonna have to cut some of this. Okay, what, let's cut to here. And then cut a little behind there. That might work. Can always cut more. I'm just going to eyeball it. <laughs> I'm 
track and we want to be Do that. Or to do this. And then this piece, we can get rid of that marker light. Anybody watch watched the World Baseball Classic with the USA did not win. Japan won, but it's still a great game. Dig that. I want to get this marker light out of here, so let's do that. We're going to be filling in a lot of little pieces, but that's all right. Be a four nine six six five thousand twelve nine nine inches annual eye health examination and a still happy that I should I just want to get this marker light out of here because it's Better. That is a little low, I think. Double check. Put this up to here. We're going to be. No, inch and a quarter. <laughs> Didn't look exactly right, but it's pretty darn close. This little piece, well, I need that. this over a little bit.
cut that top gap just a little bit. Cut that top a little too much. That's all right. Well, so Okay, that's pretty good. I'm gonna put a little filler piece in here. I was kind of hoping that that would, this would be long enough to go back there, but it's about half inch short. Not a big deal. I'm safe to do that. I wish this was all one piece. I'm wondering, should I go ahead and just clean this up and weld a strip onto here? I think I'll do that and I can extend that because sticking that piece in there and trying to get these lined up exactly right and welding it's going to be a little tough. But you kind of see where I'm going. I want to take this shape all the way around these headlights and then build a maybe with some square tubing build a surround well not have to be something bigger than that i want to build something that comes around the bulb and then down between the bulb that'll leave me enough room to hit the adjuster screws or maybe just a little slot or something but uh and I don't know if that's going to be a bolt-on piece or a permanent piece. Almost needs to be a bolt-on piece because you need to be able to get in there, change the lights, get to these little springs, 
So I might be able to model something off of the uh, off of the plastic piece. Yeah, that fits good. It lines up with this curve here. Okay, I'm gonna shut this off for a minute. I'm gonna weld a strip, clean this up, weld a strip onto here, and then uh, weld this onto there, and then we'll take a look at it. so there we go we got uh, I got this piece in and uh, was able to bend that I put this little filler piece in there and uh, you can see that the, the curve kind of ended up right where I wanted it to and I think making this piece that's gonna curve right along to here um, is gonna be pretty easy that uh, that doesn't look like that hard of a piece at all but I didn't realize this uh, video video had gone so long, so I think we're going to end this one right here. Um, I got a couple things to uh, got to do over the next few days, and uh, so I'll probably get out here Saturday and get another one started. And Saturday, um, I want to close. Oops, I want to close that piece in. Uh, we already know what we're going to do over there, so uh, duplicating. That side to this side is not going to be a big deal. Um, I want to start kind of getting an idea of more what the grill situation and that is going to look like. So um, let's get this let's get this piece made on the next video, and um, I want to kind of get a grill made and get an idea of what it's going to look like before we make that roll pan piece. Because what I'm picturing is a grill here in the center. It's probably not quite halfway up. Um, shorter than what these two uh, braces are. It's going to be made out of inch and a half square. And I'm going to have probably like 22 inch angle pieces going down the side. And then some smaller square tubing in the middle and maybe some uh, uh, expanded metal behind that. And uh, so once we get both headlights in place, we kind of get the grill built, kind of get it where it's sort of going to go. Then we fill in the rest of, uh, of how all these panels are going to go. So, uh, okay, let's go inside, grab a quick word from the Lord, and we'll, uh, we'll end it on this one. Hey, everybody. So great to get back on the truck and a uh, lot of fun working on that. You know, I was kind of getting burned out on the car, doing all that little stuff, and I uh, still got a few things to troubleshooting mechanic wise but it felt good just to get off it and get on something else and just kind of you know cut metal up and weld it together and create you know so that's a that's a good feel and i appreciate everybody who's watching so i wanted to share um uh for tonight's message uh something i read this morning when i was doing my uh my daily reading and it's uh it's psalm 40 and the um uh, the header on this, it says, Delight to do God's will. And I'm not going to read it all, but we'll just pull some verses out of here. So let's see. Um, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He brought me up out of the pit of destruction, out of the miry clay, and he set my feet upon a rock, making my footsteps firm. He put a new song in my mouth and a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and will trust in the Lord. How blessed is the man who has made the Lord his trust and has not turned to the proud nor to those who lapse in falsehood. Many, O Lord, my God, are the wonders which thou hast done and thy thoughts towards us. There is none to compare with thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they would be too numerous to count. Um and then skip down to verse 8. I delight to do thy will, O my God. Thy law is within my heart. I proclaim glad tidings of righteousness. In the gate, great congregation, behold, I will not restrain my lips, O Lord, thou knowest. I have not hidden thy righteousness within my heart. I have spoken of thy faithfulness and thy salvation. 
I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from thy great congregation. Um, man, just great stuff there. And, and so many good things, you know, for, for me, um, I was watching, what show was it last night? Might've been 911. It's a, I, I haven't been watching. It's a show my wife watches. And there was a guy in there that was, uh, uh, at an AA meeting and, um, and it got me thinking back to, um, you know, back to my days of alcoholism many, many, many years ago and, um, and my journey to get sober. And when I, and then when I read these verses this morning, talking about, you know, the Lord inclined to me and heard my cry, man, did he ever, and brought me up out of the pit of destruction, out of the miry clay and set my feet upon a rock, making my footsteps firm. Um, uh, man, that is, that is my journey, uh, and put a new song in my heart, a song of praise to our Lord. Um, I'll tell you what, uh, watching that last night, and it just, it, it really brought back a lot of memories. Not sobriety day, it's kind of a ways away. It's um, uh, Christmas Eve, but, but uh, you know, there are so many people going through addictions these days, whether it be uh, alcohol or drugs or you know, or food or sex or, or whatever. But, uh, uh, I know firsthand and I know a lot of you people out there probably know how powerful, um, addictions can be and how, how they can just, uh, they can just tear you down and, and, um, uh, you know, you promise yourself you're not going to do that thing, whatever that addiction is, or, you know, you're not going to take that drink. You're not going to, do that drug you're not going to pull up that porn site whatever whatever addiction is is uh is uh cursing you and then but you you do you know because uh because uh, that's what addictions do it just it, it just drives us to destroy ourselves and uh and i i myself am just so thankful that the lord not only rescued me from that but uh, um, gave me that story to be able to tell to other people that um, that there is hope and hopefully some somebody out there maybe somebody listening to this maybe somebody that you know that is listening to this um, needs to hear that message that you know the Lord is going to put your feet upon a rock make your footsteps firm and put a new song in your mouth and uh, and when that happens we'll go to verse 8 you'll delight to do God's will the law will be in your heart um and I do feel that way. And then and then, what do we do from there? The next couple of verses, I proclaim great tidings of righteousness in the great congregation. I will not restrain my lips. I have not hidden thy righteousness within my heart. You can't, you can't keep this stuff. You gotta give it away. You gotta tell people. And um, that, that's our job as Christians here on earth. We, we need to uh, tell everybody about, uh, about the Lord. Uh, about the sacrifice that Christ made for us and how much he loves us and how much he wants us uh, to come to him. So great message. I uh, appreciate you letting me share that tonight. So let's have a quick word of prayer. Father, I just uh, uh, thank you for this message tonight. And I just uh, I pray for pray for our country today. There's uh, in our world, there are just so many people uh, in pain and suffering that uh, that need you. And um, it seems like uh, the enemy is is uh, is uh, making great strides in the battle and turning people away from you. But we just ask that you would help us to be a, to be a good witness and to go out there and uh, and to preach your word and just use the Holy Spirit uh, in our lives to uh, to let people know about you. And we ask this in the name of your precious Son Jesus. Amen. All right, hit like, hit subscribe, and. Um, Leave a comment. I like talking to you guys. So we'll catch you on the next one.